Oh, good. You didn't die. Did you get it? Did it work? Do you hate me because it didn't work? It worked. It worked. We got the... Well, actually, turned out to be a radio, but I guess it can open doors and gates and stuff with different frequencies. Really? But we can open the gate? Yeah, we think. Ah, uh, good. Yeah, Clarissa's... gone, though. Clarissa still hasn't turned up? No, she did, but I guess she got, like... This is gonna sound insane, but whatever. Possessed and got time-looped away. Oh, so there's that. What? Where is she? Look, we got the way in. Let's just do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave yet, right? Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate. I guess the radio will open this somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Turn on the Lima, India, Gulf for the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango for the ships coming home. Please have a boat, please have a boat, please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. Jesus, that house is huge! That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. <sighs> yeah, there's something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying, like, secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy-Doo or whoever to figure it out. What's a scrappy do? Yeah, but we could figure it out. Are you the least bit curious? There's not gonna be a sunken pirate ship at the end of this, Alex. It's just a wrecked submarine. Yeah, and if you're really so anxious, you can come back on your own time. I just wanna get home. Oh, oh, it's like a, it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we checked everything. Sometimes when I lock myself out of my house, I'll just... I can't help but just stare at the deadbolt trying to, like, hypnotize it to open or something. You ever do that? Um, not really. But we can try that now if you think it'll help. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like... Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How would that make sense? Clarissa, where have you been? After we saw you in town, you just- Hey, I could ask you the same thing. It was like I sneezed and you were gone. I ended up in the fields and just decided to come here and like, wait it out. I haven't seen anybody since. So I thought I'd camp it up. Uh, and then how'd you get past the gate? It's like a slab of wrought iron. It looked impossible to climb. Well, apparently it's not that impossible since, you know, I'm here. I thought you hated physical activity. Uh, not when my life's in peril. Christ. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good yeah, thing. Yeah, let's just... 
find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise we can all keep talking and or fighting at school on Monday. Fine, okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of... Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss her dearly. Okay, why don't you get off your ass and help then? I am helping by keeping out of the way of more enterprising sorts like yourself. Ugh. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think about as bad as everybody else right now. I feel like I've been run over with a truck. With uh, acid wheels, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's pretty much been the slogan of the night. We'll make shirts when we get home. We'll be okay. Ah, <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. The chest is padlocked. Needs a combination. Mrs. Adler was either paranoid beyond belief or just a very tidy woman. Well, she buried information in sonically camouflaged containers, Jonas. My guess is paranoid. Wait, have you seen this? It's like a, a star map or a diagram of planets or something. Yeah, why would she need anything like a map of the universe? I mean, it's not like she's bouncing stuff off satellites for her job. Or maybe they were back then, what do I know? Well, she was an amateur astronomer, probably. <laughs> what, like she cared if you were a Scorpio or something? I thought that stuff was after her time. That's astrology, not astronomy. Oh, yeah, that fits the description better. Oh, it's a... it's a draft of her letter that she left in the office. To whom it should concern. She left notes everywhere, she said. Hidden with secret signals. She was an odd one, I'll give her that. But, you know, cool in a way. Maybe she was up to something, you ever think of that? I mean, she's wrapped up in this thing somehow. Maybe, but also things don't have to make sense. Sometimes stuff just happens, and that's the end of it. Uh Put some clothes on. <laughs> Remember that guy? Where are your parents? Your kid's better than- Oh, um, Chad's lake house. Yeah, yeah, that guy was a friggin' weirdo. Uh, yeah. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. Never doubt me. And here's the combination for the... There's a, a padlock chest in the attic upstairs. 29, 18, 54. Uh, cool? She made a lot of... What should I call these slides? They're they're not videos. Um, silent memories? Find anything useful? Not yet. But you know, the night is young. How's the, um, Nona stuff going? What do you care? Like, seriously, why didn't you let me go with you to Main Street? Did I do something that bad? Okay, I'm sorry. I just thought you needed a breather. I mean... Seriously, an hour earlier, you were, like, possessed and freaking out. Okay, that is true, I guess, but still, it was annoying.
Are you, um, doing okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? We're going home soon, so... Yeah, that's true. Fifty-four. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs. So, say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. Alex! Oh, Alex! Come down here, please! We have something we want to show you. Clarissa, what's going on? You're confused, aren't you? Nona, come on, honey, it's time to motor. Ren, come on, we got a boat to catch, buddy. Come on, Jonas, up and at him. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused, but don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Training? I, I don't want to be trained. What are you signed up for this, Alexandra? Is possible. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I'm sorry, okay? How many times do you want me to tell you I'm sorry? I didn't know what would happen. You have nothing, nothing to apologize for, or trust us on that. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humored as your mother's apple pie. What is it with you guys and all the... the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with the softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So, time. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models of the X-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation. Sure, my other sense. Pay attention. What are you even talking about? I spy. With my little eye, a notch. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to be. Jonas, come on, snap out of it. Oh, your new brother. Gone to first light. Bring him back. Right now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done is done, as they say. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day. Over the hills and far away. A mommy duck called quack, quack, quack. The, the picture of... of... I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to... sport with us many years ago, and... Well, only one survived. But in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. Okay, if we- if I help you, will you stop whatever it is that you're doing with my friends? Ah, uh, well... There's the rub. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. 
and will use our leaves to absorb into your friends so the sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. No! That's horrible! We can see how this might seem. Great choice, but we're past the point of caring about that sort of thing. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here, on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. You... you had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time. It was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. Attached on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. <sighs> so, I'm kind of screwed. He should go out on his own. Okay, seriously, who are you? I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ugh. No, that was very, very real. Oh, and by the way, next time, put some actual effort into the game, pretty please. It felt like someone was shoving spiders down my throat. She, uh, tried, kinda. I'm sorry, alright? I, I tried my best. I mean, when things are jumping all around, it's tough to even know what she was talking about. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then... I mean, the plan has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost is... Clarissa is only, like, one slice of the problem. We're all infected, or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, good question. We could... I mean, using the radio to tune into that triangle thing in the cave started it, so... I don't know, maybe tuning it differently or something will fix it? Yeah, or if your car is on fire, you can just pour gasoline on it, right? Well, maybe she has a point. Why do the one thing that we know got us all flummoxed again? It's all I can think of at the moment, alright? Maybe it... I don't know, maybe it works like a door, and we can somehow figure out how to, you know, close it. Good grief. Look, if Clarissa's in the cave, then we'll have to go there anyway, so we'll put a, a, a pin in it. Well, if we're going to the cave... Oh, actually, I forgot. I saw the entrance has been caved in since you guys went inside. Alright, I know there are a whole bunch of secret communist bomb-fearing tunnels dug into this place during the 1950s. And Maggie has loads of film about military stuff in her basement, so... Maybe there's a way back into the cave through one of those, you're thinking? <sighs> Let's take a look. What kind of name is a Fippany Fields, anyway? Wait... Is it a Fippany? It's, uh, 
It's Epiphany Field. Oh, that makes more sense. already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh man, if this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos. Yeah. I'm sure this is God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh. So it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like... this looks like the end, but from the... from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Uh, actually, I've been with Jonas kind of all night, so if anyone wants to switch up the batting order, I wouldn't exactly be... Yeah, obviously Alex is getting, or has been, sick of me for a while now, so for civility's sake... Don't be like that, Jonas. Come on. <sighs> I'm just... I don't... <sighs> Forget it then, okay? I'm sorry. Let's not dirty the cabinets, I guess. All right, just for anyone wondering, I used to say that a lot until I realized how weird it sounded. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please don't tell me. I won't want to know. Same here. I don't want to know nothing. <laughs> 